Almost a year after Russia invaded Ukraine, millions of people are still displaced all around the world, including Northern California. CBS 13 Shante Passmore introduces us to a Russian family who left everything behind to support Ukraine's sovereignty while finding their own freedom in Sacramento. <laughs> A war and humanitarian crisis miles away reached the steps of River City Food Bank. Many are landing literally with nothing but the clothes on their back. Last year, the food bank says it saw an increase in food demand outside of high inflation. Ukrainian refugees and outspoken Russians against the war escaped in mass droves. We were very afraid of being arrested again. Alex and Anna Klokonov's war protests forced the family to escape political persecution and start a new life in Sacramento. Unsure on how to provide for themselves, a friend mentioned a foreign concept, too good to be true. There is a Russian saying uh, that the, the only free cheese you, you get is in a mouse trap. Soon, the new guests turn into volunteers by helping during distributions and offering translation. Their American dream suddenly closer than in Moscow. What's your dream? Be fully independable, have, have, an, have a job where you feel you really help people, get not that much money. We don't want to be, become millionaires or billionaires. Just enough to travel a lot, to see new places. Their political asylum came with sacrifices. The couple says Russia's war not only divided the nation, but also families. Anna's sister openly supports the invasion, while Alex's then 12-year-old son chose to stay behind. Was that hard to leave him behind? Really hard, really hard. That's the saddest thing. I don't miss anything in Russia except for, for my kid. However, their dream also includes for their family of four to be reunited soon. As they settle into their new home, they've embraced an American value already, helping a neighbor who's in need. I feel that's worth doing. That's actually my, uh, the goal of my life. Hi, how are you doing? It's a nice call. If you're looking to connect with River City Food Bank services or want to volunteer, we'll have that info for you on our website, cbs13.com.